sustainer of all the worlds. Here the pressure put on. Newton tries to escape, just has to dump it away. Get it back to the line and of it's right, and the flag is thrown. Shaquille Barrett put the heat on. Newton writhing on the ground. Here comes Stewart. Stewart. Oh, it's a oh, shot to the head, head too. Right. Yep, helmet to helmet. Also rushing the passer, so they don't have to cheat blitzing and get guys near the line of scrimmage. Second and ten, and Palmer goes to the end zone, and the ball is knocked out. It's ruled incomplete. Lynch with the big hit. Bailey's taken off, but it's of no use. Chris Henry was pancaked by John Lynch, who has had some bruising blows delivered here in this first quarter. Pocket. And now he throws at the last second and completed it as he got planted. And I mean planted. And he's down, and there's flags down as well. Yeah, I think we're going to get in James Harrison. Is you could even hear the fans reacting to the hit. McCoy was flat on his back and helped to the sideline by the Browns medical staff. He also hurt his hand on the play. Harrison, who delivered the blow, will likely receive a fine from the league as well. He has a history of vicious hits. but. Second down and ten. Rodgers lets it fly. Gets drilled at the end of it incomplete. And a penalty flag is down. Personal foul. Rushing the passer. Defense number 90. Illegal contact to the helmet. 15 yard penalty. Automatic. They get peppers. Here's a guy, Aaron Rodgers, who's had two concussions this year. Well, Peppers comes completely free, and you see the hit right here. He he lowers his head, leads with the crown, and it's helmet to helmet. Oh. I mean, he got rocked. Aaron Rodgers got blown up back there, and, and you see Julius Peppers complaining about the call, but that was an easy one to make. You see him right there. He lowers the helmet, comes in with the crown, and it's a wonder that Aaron Rodgers is even able to get up. Rodgers, who suffered a concussion, and with blood on his tongue and on his chin strap. A concussion at Washington, a concussion at Detroit. It's Rod Marinelli who's a coordinator of this defense upset, but that was the right call. So watch right here. Deion Jones does not hit with the crown of his helmet. He hits with the side of his helmet. And plus, Cam Newton, how as I understand the rule, is not a defenseless player. He is the ball carrier. And a fundamental thing I'd like to point out to all you young coaches, if Deion Jones wraps him up, he might not get in the end zone. Cam Newton is going into the locker room now. A right wing at fullback. McLaurin, straight drop. Pump. Come back. Wide open caught. Murphy lost the ball. He got popped out. It's a catch and a fumble. Actually, it's Jazz. Scott Simonson. And he had his helmet knocked off, and they what are they going to say? No catch or a catch fumble? They're saying they're rolling it over now. Simonson had his helmet knocked off. What a hit. Uh, he might be saying catch down. And the Raiders would have it on the one-yard line? It didn't look like he was Boy, down. But I don't think he was down oh, either. Okay, well. They'd say either it was a catch fumble or no catch. How about a personal foul for knocking his helmet off? Simonson on the seam route. That's got to be a personal foul. Yeah. That has got to be a personal No matter what happened on the play, Dejon yeah. Gomes has got to be called for a personal foul. Oh, I mean, they should have thrown a flag Why? right there. Yeah, that's, that, that should is, be a flag. Is there a flag on the field at all? Nothing. That is a blatant helmet to helmet. Gomes just dropped the helmet and blew up Scott Simonson. Whether he caught it or not, it should be a personal foul. With a scowl, too. Third and nine. Clock down to under five minutes to go. Four-man rush. Right. Back down in the middle and a drop. 
Excalibur Flair comes in. Two of them, you see them both as kindly. It's Wax Sean Davis, the rookie out of Maryland. This is a helmet to helmet call, I believe. And then Macklin's going to get into it with the secondary. Let's see about the call. You know, you, you got another, another flag came out when you throw a hat and you throw a flag. That's another penalty. Meanwhile, you got Conley still down on the ground at the two-yard line. There was the rookie, Sean Davis, who came in, helmet to helmet on a defenseless receiver. No question, it's the right call. Now, what happened afterwards, we shall see. And this time it was Thomas blocking for Sanders, who is now over 100 yards receiving. Five catches and a touchdown. Out near midfield, Matty to throw. Separation. Oh, big hit. Sanders gets walloped by McLeod. Penalty marker on the play. Now McLeod came over, and they're going to say he hit a defenseless receiver trying to break up this pass. Emmanuel Sanders is down. Uh, he got hit rock there by McLeod. Let's see if McLeod leads with his helmet to helmet here. Uh, he leads with his shoulder. Now the question is why does the official have his hat off that usually signifies that the uh, receiver stepped out of bounds and was the first to touch the ball coming back inbounds as Sanders was. And there is a flag down along the uh, Broncos sideline. There are multiple fouls in the play, both against the defense. And Sanders taking a long walk now here at the Edward Jones Dome back to the Denver locker room as we send it down to Jenny Dell. Yeah, Ian, as you just saw, he walked off to the locker room. I just spoke with the representative, and they said right now he's just going to get evaluated for a concussion. I'll have more information soon. From the 23-yard line, as Vic starts this drive out of the gun. The start coming back to the blitz. They've had success. Not here. Here comes a ton of time and throws, and that's caught by Macklin. Unbelievable. Shot. Unbelievable that he's done it again. Yep. Dante Robinson again. No doubt about it. I thought it looked like direct shot to the helmet. He did the same thing a season ago to Deshaun Jackson. Let's they, see. They both wound up with concussions, and he got a $50,000 fine. No doubt about it. Leads with his helmet. He's going to get it again. He actually yeah. called and apologized to Deshaun Jackson. I mean, they make it they make it pretty simple. All the officials go to camp and say, you can't leave with your head. Real simple. And, and Al, there was plenty of time to react on that one. I mean, that was, that is a lowering the head. There's rules against launching. He almost launched his way into this one. He didn't leave the second foot, so he won't get for that, but he was definitely headhunting, and that is awful. That's how people get seriously hurt in this right. game. Second and nine. Good play action for Buying some time. Gets away from to it. Here comes Harrison chasing. Moore, oh my goodness. Moore is absolutely walloped. I don't know how he's going to get up. Penalty. Oh boy. That was Bud Dupree. Who got to him in the first quarter on a vicious hit, clean hit, but this time flag is out, and I uh, he was walloped as hard as you'll see it. And here come the Dolphins after Dupree. Yep, hit 